you can see that the president worry is trying mm -hmm. the economy is moving fine and the things are working well you understand even as a president he only has one house in dara you understand mm -hmm. so money is circulating and we are enjoying it those people who are complaining that Buhari is not trying there is their own problem you understand mm -hmm. so to me i feel the country is moving smooth it was in full of price mm -hmm. as we yes! Yes! A little story about a big man who died and went to the other side. On that day, God had decreed that whoever arrives must choose where to go, whether heaven or hell. So this man was excited. He demanded to visit hell first. <laughs> and he got into something which looked like a lift, and he went down to hell. When the doors opened, things were glorious. The devil had no tail. The devil had no horns. He even met his friends. They were healthy, eating well, drinking well, making merry. Then it was time up, and he then demanded to be taken to heaven. In heaven, the picture was nice. Angels floating around, good music, the Lord Almighty presiding and reigning supreme. Finally, he was asked, what's your choice? Because you are not going to be judged. There's no judgment today. Judge for yourself. He thought, you know, these bishops have been telling lies and spoiling the name of the devil. The devil is a very fine man. He looks after his people. Now all these imams in the mosque making noise, saying, Satan, Satan, this man is not bad at all. And in any case, heaven seems to be overrated. As a matter of fact, it's a bit boring. That was the debate in his head. So when the angel asked him to choose, he said, I have chosen that I'll go to hell. Now that I've seen it with my own eyes. And the angel said, get into the lift. He got into the lift and he took him down. But when the doors opened, things had changed. The place looked like a desert. His friends were wearing dirty clothes. They were eating from the garbage pit. And the devil was now complete in his devilish regalia. The tail was out. The horns were out. And he was carrying a whip. So he tiptoed towards the devil and said, Excuse me, sir. You remember me, don't you? I was here the other day. You surely remember me. And Lucifer said, go to hell. I don't remember you. What do you have to say anyway? He said, you know, the other day things were very nice here. Things have been changed for the worst today. What's happening? The devil said, I'm sorry, my friend. The day you came, we were campaigning. So, <laughs> now, <laughs> therefore, We need, we need to tell our people to know that there's life after campaigns. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Calm down. Yes. I should calm down. Yes. I should calm down. Yes. Don't be angry. Oh, she just put her back. Big yellow one. No, I'm not telling you to be calming down. So don't calm me down. Don't calm me down. I want you to be calm down. So you must rest, small. Eh? You must rest, mommy. You must rest a little. I should rest before I beat you. No, no. Not rest like this. Bossy, eh? What's in my I don't tell you when I say don't do it, you will still do it. No, not do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I promise, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. This is my last chance. Last chance in the world. Last chance. Give me your hand. I want to beat you. I want to beat you. Give me. Let me wear my tears.
nkan ti mi ba ti gbe si e lowo ma ma mu ogbo mi give me your hand give me your hand are you videoing me what are you doing mommy? give me your hand <laughs> give me your hand okay you wet me on my body i don't know that you have any question for one can i ask a question please